Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Life Speed Spanish. Bienvenidos. This week we have a suggestion from Judy Martinez. Hola Judy. Oh Martinez. Hola Judy. And Judy wants us to talk about the resumptive low. The resumptive low. I've never heard that before. Yeah. So Judy asked me, mm. could you talk about the resumptive low? And I said to her, replied, I said, of course I can. Of course we can. Will you tell me what it is? Oh, what is it? What is it? <laughs> Give me an example. So she has. So we'll talk all about it in the second half. This is a beginner's uh, lesson. So uh, we'll do this in English. Okay. Okay. Entonces, nos vemos en la segunda parte. Okay, so what is the resumptive low? Well, the best way to describe it is to give you the example, okay? Okay. I always like the example. Este plato es bonito, pero ese no lo es. Okay. Okay, so now we know what the resumptive low is. The resumptive low, if it's as it's described, is um, when you want to say it isn't, yeah? So that's a good summary. <laughs> it isn't. It isn't. Yeah. Or, or it is. Or it, it, is. it is. It is, yeah? Yeah. Um, and in Spanish, you just can't do that. Yeah. In Spanish or in English? In Spanish, you can't say, he thinks he's great and he isn't. In Spanish, you can't do it. In Spanish, you can't do it. No. Because what we're doing is, and he isn't, he yeah. no is. You can't do that in Spanish. Yeah, we, we would say he isn't it. He isn't yeah. it. He isn't it. So what happens, we've got, the, the, yeah. the issue comes from English, because what, what we can say is, he is and he isn't. Okay? So what we're doing is we're saying, in Spanish that would be, él es and él no es. Uh-huh. But that isn't a pro that isn't a finished sentence. That's an open sentence with what they called ellipses. Puntos, sus uh, Puntos suspensivos. Suspensivos, yeah. It isn't finished, is it? It's not. It's not finished. So, how do you say it? If you say he thinks he's great, but he isn't, how do you do that in Spanish? Él piensa que él es fabuloso, pero no lo es. Hmm. So when when Spanish speakers say no lo es. That is a finished sentence. You can put a full stop after that. Also, you can use it in sentences, for example, like um, Tonto no lo es. Or no es. You could say both. You could say no es or no lo es. Mm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I, uh, stupid, he's not. Mm -hmm. he'll, be other, he'll be other things, but stupid, he's not. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. You know, in that sentence, it's, that's like flipping around. No es tonto. No es tonto. Tonto no es. Yeah, and the yeah. lo it re is referring to tonto. It's mm -hmm. not it. What is mm -hmm. it? Tonto in this case, yeah. Uh -huh. or, or fabulous or great or... But normally it, it, you'll see it when when you're doing this little disclaimer, uh, like um, uh, she, she doesn't think she's beautiful, but she is. Yeah? Something like that. It's always like they, they either saying it is the case or it isn't the case. And whenever you do that, you're going to see this lo es or no lo es. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. sí. yeah. Yeah. And the lo, even doesn't, if it does it change by gender, if you're talking about a woman, you wouldn't say no la es, or would you? No. It's always lo es. Because no? it's not referring to being a man or a woman, it's referring to that, like, tonto, yeah. um, fabuloso, fabulosa. But even if it was fabulosa, would you say. You would still use lo? No. I mean, you said lo. You wouldn't say la. Exactly. Yeah? It never changes, does it? It's yeah, because no if I think is. of, okay, a woman, and I'm saying, stupid, she's not. It, yeah? She's not it. Uh, tonta no lo es. Yeah. You wouldn't say no la es. Yeah. So it never changes. La, yeah. It's always lo es or no lo es. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, it wouldn't, have, it wouldn't be a la. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the reason is because typically, if you say no es, no es que, no es que, it's something that hasn't but, finished. But uh, like I said, in this, in in the kind of sentence that I said, like stupid, she's not. Or I don't know if can you say that in English? You would say that in uh -huh. English, yeah. Like uh -huh. um, you can also you can just opt for 
the one without it. You can have both sure. ways in that one. Eh, tonta no es, o mm. tonta no lo es. You can mm. have both mm -hmm. in that one. That would be fine. The other one you said, I would have the law. Yeah. The, I think the reason why uh, tonto no lo es is because really it's it's a full sentence. It's just misplaced. Mm -hmm. No, no es tonto. Mm -hmm. Tonto no es. Yeah. So it's all all the information's there. Yeah. But it's when you get this. She doesn't think that she's this, but she is. Yeah. Or he thinks he's yes, that. Yes. In that and, case, but he yes. isn't. Mm -hmm. And it's always that. It's always no lo es or, or sí. si lo es. Um, él, él no cree que sea, mm, no sé, inteligente, pero sí lo es. Pero sí lo es. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that would translate as, yes, he is. But that's not how they say it in Spanish. Yes, he is it. Exactly. Yeah. Muy bien. Mm. I didn't know that was called the... Uh, resumptive. Resumptive. No, I Low. didn't know that resumptive. either. I like that. And you know, it's probably got loads of names. One of them will be resumptive law because I've noticed that whenever we go through the grammar, everybody seems to have a different name. Mm. Yeah, sometimes, yeah, it's true. Mm. Sometimes you can have different names for the same thing. Yeah. But, like, I mean, I, I, I haven't heard that before, so maybe that's the name for it uh, everywhere. Maybe. But, so of course... Know, we've learned something new. There you are, yeah. And whether I recall resumptive law, I don't know. I, whether it'll stick in my mind, I don't know. Because it doesn't make any sense, does it? The resumptive law. It doesn't link to anything. One of the problems I've noticed with, with grammar names, unless you've got a name that actually is giving you an example or, or explaining... Like, like, like redundant, yeah? The redundant. redundant you, yeah. That you, you makes sense, so you remember. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And like um, when, when, for example, the preterite past, okay? Preterite past. It's got loads of names. But it's also called the um, indefinite Yeah. That, that is confusing as well because in Spanish we say pretérito imperfecto and that's actually the imperfect but it's called pretérito imperfecto mm -hmm. and then uh, pasado simple pasado simple yeah I've seen yeah. that name as well so sometimes like in Spain if I say preterite it's not preterite for what you know the, the past, yeah. that past tense because yeah. it would be the preterite pretérito imperfecto so that, Some people have learned it that way, that way as well. If they've yeah. learned this Spanish name, mm -hmm. pretérito imperfecto, yeah, and pretérito anterior, and pretérito, you know, they've got the preterites, mm -hmm. um, and it's different in English. So I learned the English way. I learned preterite and imperfect because that's I, I was teaching English-speaking people. Yeah, but then I have to change it when. Sure. I'm doing it but the e Spanish way. But even in, in English, there's a, the, the jury's out. Many people ha have different names for it. Yes. And one of them's indefinite for the preterite. Like, oh, good grief. Let's just try and keep one name going. <laughs> eh? just, let's, let's keep it down to, a, down to a, a simple pattern. So the best way, whenever somebody does that, this is the trick. right? And I've used it so many times. So somebody will say, um, yeah, can you give me... Um, Give me some sentences with the, uh, or, or can you help me understand the indefinite? I say, absolutely. Give me an example of that kind of sentence. Okay, because I think, I don't know what you're talking about. So I always ask for an example. Okay. And then people give you an example, and I know exactly, ah, oh, right, that. Yeah. yeah, it's true, we have. There are, there's no, sometimes there's not consensus on, on the names given, but it doesn't matter, you know. Mm -hmm. As long as we know what we, that we're talking about the same thing, then that's it. You can, you can call it one way, and we can call it another way. Some people... Don't know what they're called. Exactly. It's fine. Some people don't We care. can work around it. So, uh, resumptive law. That's Mucha gente like piensa you. que la gramática es difícil, pero no lo es. Eh, ella cree que es muy buena en su trabajo, pero no lo es. Mm. O ella cree que es muy buena en su trabajo y sí lo es. Mm. O y lo es. Y en esta frase sentence. Mucha gente piensa que los nombres de la gramática son importantes y no lo son. Muy bien. So, no lo son. So, no if we're talking son. about they aren't, we go into plural. Yeah, no of course, because it'll be they, they are not it. Or they are not it. She is it, he is it, or mm -hmm. he's not it. Mm -hmm. So, it'll be the same, but just adding the it instead mm -hmm. of the, the adjective. So, as a rule of thumb, whenever you're going to say but it isn't or but it is 
uh, or but they aren't, but they are. No lo es, si lo es, no lo son, si lo son. Mm -hmm. Ajá. Bueno. Muy bien. Ahora. And now, a word from our sponsors. Muchas gracias, gracias Reed. Reed. Vaya acento, me encanta. Del sur, ¿no? Del de sur. sur. Del sur. So what we want to bring to your attention is that we have two courses coming up in September and October. And in the September course, we've got around about six places left, okay? So if you would like to come on one of our immersion courses, what is a Lightspeed Spanish immersion course? It's wonderful. That's what it is. <laughs> it's I wonderful. say so myself. <laughs> yeah. No, based on the feedback that we get. We always have great fun. We learn lots, don't we? Um, there are tons of activities. The people make friends. They make friends for, for life, yeah, that, really. Yeah, that, I think that's the, the, one of the best things, that they, they, they start as strangers, and then by the end of the week, they're friends, and then exactly. they, they come together in other, other times. Exactly. But that's really nice. This course, the next two courses, and then what's going forward, are going to be something special, something that's never happened before. Mm. And, that, yeah. and that is that we have an extra teacher coming. That's and true. the extra teacher is Blanca. Blanca. So, so normally Anna, Anna works with us, but now Blanca is coming to work with us. What does that mean? That means that Cynthia and I are running classes together. We're going to be working as a double team. Double team. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. A duo. <laughs> so we're going to have the three levels again, but Cynthia and I will be doing the classes together just to have a bit more fun, a bit more interactive. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Even though our part is the grammar. The grammar, but it will be grammar. Unfortunately, and I used to do games and things with my yeah. group, and now it's grammar. Cynthia <laughs> said to me, Gordon, I'm doing games, but I'm feeling lonely. Can I come and join you and do grammar? And I said, with all of my heart, my darling, you can come and join me and we'll do grammar together. <laughs> yeah, we'll hammer the grammar. Oh, that never happened. <laughs> that would never so, happen. So, slightly different, but really everything's the same except the dynamic with the teacher is slightly different. Yes. But you'll have fun if you if you if you want to improve your Spanish. If you want to get your Spanish really going, and I'm not talking about learning anything fantastically new. It's getting your confidence up so you can start speaking. You've got loads of Spanish already in your head. Get it out. All right, so come and join us if you like. If you're interested, I'll leave the contact details in the, um, in the information on the video. Drop us a line and we'll tell you all about it, okay? Muy bien. Así que, eso es todo. Nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Adiós. Hasta luego. I can see a little spider <laughs> doing um, one of those noise over there. Can you see it? Oh, going down. Woo ding, 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 ding. <laughs> no, don't do that because then it comes this way. No, I want it to go the other way. It's like the spider that we found in the bedroom. And you said, he'll never get here. <laughs> <laughs> you remember? He'll never be here. <laughs> Did -did 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 oh, no, no, no. He just killed himself. Yeah. No, it's on the floor. Running around now. Okay. Did -did